Good morning. Today we're here at Meyer. We're going to go in and check out some of the sales prices, check some of the things you guys have asked about, and check the shelves. Let's get to it. So as soon as we come into Meyer here, we see they got their strawberries and pineapples. It is on a buy one, get one for a dollar of equal or lesser value. So you can get two things of strawberries, one for a dollar, or mix and match. It's a pretty good deal. Some people were wanting me to check out if there were any sales on apples this week. Don't see any sales on apples. Um, they're all regular price from what I can see here. Fuji did go up a couple weeks ago to $1.69 a pound. They were $1.59 a pound. Most of them are uh, the Pink Lady, Red Delicious, uh, Granny Smith, and Gala are $1.59 a pound. Tis the season, I guess. They do have the black seedless grapes, $2.09 a pound. It's a lot cheaper than they were a couple months ago. Of course, that was out of season. They were $2.79 a pound, $2.49 a pound for the green grapes. Uh, and the red seedless grapes are $1.59 a pound. I don't know why the green are so expensive. Did notice that the personal watermelons did go up from $3.99 a pound to $4.99 a pound. Uh, and the cantaloupes. The cantaloupes were $3.29 each. Now they're $3.49 each. And the honeydew melons are still $4.29. Boy. I figured these would start to get a little cheaper. Maybe we need about another month. The five pound bags of Halos are $7.99. Um, that's pretty much the same everywhere. It's the same price as Kroger. Kroger's regular price is $8.99, but they've kept them on sale for $7.99. I gotta say, it's still pretty pricey. They do have the Raspberry Blood Oranges three pound bag for $4.49, just down from $4.99, and the Naval Orange four pound bag for $4.99 down from 549 so and this was the same sale as last week so i know oranges have really gone up in price pretty much all citrus i've been hearing that some people have been having trouble finding heads of lettuce you know it has been kind of low around here lately um they are a dollar 79 a piece here i will say these look pretty fresh it's been pretty much a dollar 79 everywhere for a head of lettuce which is just crazy um we do have some celery back in here. This is the dole. Or wait, this ain't dole. Kind of looks like it. They try to fool you here. Cream. Ocean Mist. Ocean Mist Farms. Wow. Never heard of that one. Uh, $1.79 each for each pack of celery here. I will say these tomatoes do look good, but as we went over a little over a week ago, they did go up in price to $2.09 a pound. That is up from $1.89 a pound just a couple weeks ago and then went up to $1.99, now it's at $2.09. Uh, so, you know, $1.69 a pound for the tomatoes on the vine and $1.39 a pound still for the Roma tomatoes. I will say they are starting to look better and better though. We continue to hear issues about mushrooms. Um, you know, Myers really seems to have a lot of trouble getting a lot of mushrooms in. We saw last week they had more than they do now. Um, they do have a buy one, get one of equal or lesser value for a dollar. The True Goodness Organic Whole White or Mini Bella. So that's that's a pretty decent deal. Uh, and they do have some of them here. You can see where they're adding other things into this cabinet here. This used to be all organic vegetables in here. And now they're putting all drinks. And I don't see anything else in its place. Um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe they know they're not going to be getting some of this stuff in for a while. This was organic celery. Uh, some lettuce and where they used to have broccoli, but broccoli has been kind of an issue lately And as I say that I found a bunch of broccoli now. It's not fresh like right out of the um, You know not along the wall there, but they do have it packaged here. Maybe this is just how they do it now I don't know broccoli has been an issue all across the country. We've gotten a lot of comments on it It is 289 a pound 289 a pound. So I don't know if one of these is a pound um, but they do have it. They do have it, which, you know, we, like I said, we've been having a lot of trouble finding broccoli. Um, not so much with the broccoli crowns, just the crowns of the broccoli. And those are only $1.29 each. Um, and each, not per pound. So I got to be honest with you, these look better than the tops of those uh, broccoli there. So I don't know, unless you're making like a broccoli soup or something, which you would want a lot of the stock for, This uh, these look too... Don't look too bad. So I came over here to this side cabinet. They have the right bacon on sale. $8.99 for 24 ounces. That's down from $11.99. Pretty good deal. 
Uh, they do have the three pounds on sale for $17.49 down from $22.99. Uh, it's about the same price as we'll find at Sam's Club. They sell the three pound there. I, I believe it's $17.49. Also, I wanted to point out that today is May 9th, 2022, Monday. They are very low on pork. They do have a lot of sales going on, so that could be part of the reason. Uh, some buy one, get one 40% off, but you know, people could have been doing a lot of grilling this weekend or something. It was a pretty nice weekend here. But yeah, for Meyer, this is that's pretty low. I mean, they got some, but yeah, and the sales could have something to do with that too. They do have a buy one, get one of equal or lesser value, 50% off certified Angus beef, 8515 ground round select varieties. So yeah, well that, that'd make this a pretty decent deal. Buy one, get one half off. Now it's not on sale, but somebody was asking about bison. 100% uh, grass fed and finished ground beef. Smart choice bison. Here's some ground bison right here. Um, this is one pound. Let's see, $9.99 a pound. So it's a little pricey, but they do have it in. Also, they have some of the ground turkey we've been getting a lot of comments on. And they've got uh, Purdue and honeysuckle back in. Uh, $4.49 a pound here or for the package $4.99 for the honeysuckle package uh, Genio here yeah good to see they're getting in more options so we've been getting more and more comments on waffles kind of going out the door again same here uh, we didn't go over a lot of the freezer items the last time we were here um, but as you can see they're taking up four cabinets here just for waffles and um, yeah, I mean, they have some, but you can tell they're definitely a lot lower than they were last week. I was just walking past the pizza rolls here. We get a lot of comments on the Totino's pizza rolls. They do have them in. They did go up a little bit, $10.99 to $11.19. They still continue to struggle all across the city here, at least, and across the country with frozen potato products. We'll see them in one day and then out the next. They do have some of their Meyer fries here. Um... But you can see here there's a lot of the they do have some of the shredded potatoes and tater tots but a lot of them are kind of going out the door again they do have orida in though it does seem like we're seeing more and more orida uh, we saw a lot at kroger the other day they have gone up in price 369 a bag now but you know at least they're getting it in oh don't forget your ketchup only sale i really see on chicken are the drumsticks uh, in the family pack, $1.59 a pound. Um, and the, I believe the chicken thighs, um, no, those are wings, $4 a pound. That's crazy. Uh, the thighs here, these say $1.99 a pound, but I think they're on sale too. Uh, well, maybe not. That yeah, came over here to the side cabinet just to check. Yeah, it looks like the only ones on sale are the chicken drumsticks this week. Thighs were on the sale last week, but I guess they're not anymore. A lot of comments on the CPAC um, on sale this week. Most of them for $5.49. Does seem like they're selling a lot of them, like the Scampi and those, some of the ones we got comments on. Um, that is down from $6.79. The funny thing is the regular price of these a month ago was $5.99. So they jumped to $6.79, but they are on sale for a little less. Tyson continues to struggle to get products in the stores they do have some i don't see any chicken nuggets this week we always get comments about chicken nuggets they do have the honey uh fully cooked honey battered breast tenders um these did go up a little while ago 6.79 these were 5.99 uh but we saw they're seven dollars at walmart so a little cheaper than walmart what a difference a week makes they do have hot pockets on sale uh, some of them here, $1.99 down from $2.99. That's probably why they're missing. But the Uncrustables, which we get a lot of comments on. A lot of kids love them Uncrustables. Um, yeah, we're having trouble finding them too. It, it is what it is. I, I don't know. They just struggle getting these in sometimes. So I went and grabbed an ad because I got to tell you, I'm not seeing very many sales. Uh, I didn't even see any blueberries. Um, $1.99 for a pint. That's actually a pretty good deal. Blueberry's been anywhere from $3.49 to $3.99. They do have a uh, buy one, get one for a dollar of equal or lesser value on the boneless chopped pork loins. Um, $1.59 a pound on the 
whole chicken. That was another one that I missed when I was up there. Uh, but a lot of this stuff isn't showing, like these apples here. It says buy one, get one, 50% off. Uh, three pound bag, I didn't see that up there. Uh, the Fuji, Gala, Granny Smith, or Pink Lady apples. We saw the strawberry and pineapple deal. Um, yeah, I just wanted to make sure we weren't missing anything here because there's really not a lot on sale. They do have the four 16.9 ounce, I guess you can mix and match here. Uh, when you buy four or more, I mean, I guess that's not too bad. $3 a piece. And I, I guess you can buy more than that at $3 once you get over four. Yeah, just kind of checking out what we might have missed here. Because I didn't really see as much as I thought we would the day after Mother's Day. Uh, $6.99 for their watermelons. We did see where the watermelons were $5.99 at Kroger this week. So you will have until Tuesday night. You guys will be seeing this video uh, on Tuesday. So if you can get to Kroger before the end of Tuesday, May 10th, you can get you a watermelon for $5.99. Uh, we'll to check out the coffee. It looks like they got some coffee sales. Let's do that. So here's the pop sale, four for $12 they do. Always check the middle aisle leading up to the food at Meyer. It's usually, this is where usually the best deals will be. And they usually have it all up and down the aisle here. They also have three for five. Uh, when you buy three or more. So yeah, that makes it a little cheaper. They're 219 regular price for the two liters here. It does just say Coca-Cola products though, so I don't think you can mix and match these. Um, yeah, I mean, a little bit of a deal there. Looks like we found some Dunkin' Donuts here. Dunkin' Donuts has been really hard to find lately. Um, let's see, there's a coupon buy, $10 of select coffee products get two dollars off your next shopping trip by 15 get four dollars okay well that's not a bad deal i mean you get so if you spend 15 you get four dollars off you spend 10 you get two dollars i would just spend the 15 and uh i guess this is all the participating products that have this on here like these like these ones have the same thing this is for the mccafe Good to see they got Dunkin' in, though, because I know a lot of people were asking about that. We went to Kroger. They had a few of the bags. They didn't have any of the Keurig cups. Uh, they do got Pete's Coffee on sale, too, this week, $7.99. One of my mom and my aunt's favorite coffees is this Michigan Cherry here. Uh, it's really good. I tried it the other day. It's got a good flavor to it. Real subtle cherry flavor. Um, yeah, pretty smooth. They do have some Starbucks on sale too, $6.99. Plus, uh, it is part of this buy 10, get $2 off your next trip, or buy 15, get $4 off your next trip. 15 sounds like the way to go, get the most out of your money there. But good to see we're seeing some sales on coffee. Meyer's really stepping up here uh, because coffee's kind of been going through the roof lately as far as prices go. They also have the Pete's Coffee. We've been hearing that a lot of Pete's has been hard to find lately, probably because we've been seeing a lot of sales on it. Uh, they've really been uh, selling this for cheap lately. $7 for the Major Dickinson's blend here. Uh, somebody was asking about $6.99 for 10 of them. And again, they do have the ground coffee down there on sale. Lots of coffee deals this week. It's good to see, especially during times where nobody seems to be having sales on it. Um, yeah, the Dunkin' Pods are part of this. They are $8.59, though. Not on sale, but it is part of that buy 10 or buy 15. They do have the McCafe on sale, too. Two for 10, so that makes that $5 a piece. Um, they have the Seattle's Best and the 8 o'clock pods. They did have the 8 o'clock uh, ground coffee down there. Didn't see the sale, but it is part of this buy 10 deal. That's pretty good. Also, the Meyer coffee uh, itself is part of that deal. And this is usually the cheapest that they'll have, um, but it is part of that buy 10 deal. So Folgers ground coffee is part of this deal as well. The buy 10, save $2 on your next trip, or 15, and save $4 on your next trip, $9.39 here. That's a couple dollars cheaper than we saw it at Kroger. They do have the decaf, which we've had a lot of trouble finding. 22.6 ounces for $9.39, which is uh, cheaper than we've pretty much seen anywhere. 
Coming down the toilet paper aisle, I will say they've got more toilet paper than they've had in a long time. We saw where it was getting very low there for a while. Did find this sale here on the 12 mega rolls of Cottonelle for $12.99. That's down from $14.29, so a little bit of a deal there, but most of it doesn't really have any sales. So we got some more comments on bleach over the last couple weeks. Um, we really haven't had an issue finding it. Uh, but a lot of people have, so I did want to point out that Myers does have it back in. We saw where they were empty for the longest time on bleach. They do have Clorox on sale this week, three seventy nine. dollars uh, So you may want to check your local Meyer. So somebody the other day was telling me that Philadelphia cream cheese has really shot up in price. And I'll tell you what, yeah, I haven't checked it out in a while. Two eighty nine. dollars Somebody was telling me it's $3, $2.99 for one brick of it at Kroger. $2.89 here, so it's not far off. I mean, you know, I they're coming back in now. We saw all throughout the holidays they were sold out of it. We couldn't find it anywhere. We see that the spreadable ones, too, these have gone up from $3.99 to $4.29. But, I mean, geez, you can get a two-pack here for $4.99, making it $2.50 a piece, but usually that was two for four. Definitely more expensive. They got the Meyer here for $1.59. You know, we've tried this one before. Philadelphia is better, but, um, you know, the Kroger brand, I would say, is a better store brand than the Meyer, in my opinion. Um, but it's definitely a lot cheaper. I know we have a lot of Sargento fans on the channel here. They do have their shredded cheese on sale this week for $2.99. All varieties. We've been seeing that Meyer's cheese has been going up lately. Normally $2.49 for an 8-ounce bag of shredded cheese this week. Three for $5. Now, it's not like Kroger. You do have to buy three. You can't just buy one. You have to buy three of them uh, to get the sale. Um, and they do have the sliced Sargento cheese for $2.99, too. The sliced Meyer cheese is also three for five. It's a pretty good deal considering it's gone up to $2.19 a pack. Uh, great deal on the shredded cheese because yeah, that, that used to be $2.19 also and it just shot up to $2.49 So this may not be far off three for five. That's a pretty decent deal So we get a lot of comments on the Keystone meats. Uh, they are made up in Lima, Ohio So that's probably why we're able to get them in a lot. I know you can order online, but there were a lot of back orders People were trying to order uh, I actually tried to place an order just to see if I could do that so I could explain on the channel and I wasn't even able to get an order in for like 30 days. So they are pretty backed up. Um, they do have the beef, pork, and chicken here at Meyer. Uh, a little cheaper than Kroger. It did go up at Kroger. Um, $8.99 for the pork and chicken. And it was $10.49 or $10.99 for the beef at Kroger. So yeah, the Swanson did go up. It was three thirty-nine. dollars uh, The chunk chicken here, 12.5 ounce. I believe it's 12.5 ounces. Yes, yes. It says 28% more, I guess, from the smaller ones that they sell. We don't even see the smaller ones. Um, but yeah, these were three thirty-nine. I believe they're three seventy-nine dollars at Kroger. So uh, much better deal there. We got ours at sam's club the other day it's not swanson it's the members mark but we got a lot of good comments from you guys we got six cans of them for 16 dollars and that did go up from 10.98 to 15.98 but still a little cheaper in here get a lot of comments on quaker oats have the different variety packs on sale two for five dollars here this week uh some of the instant oatmeal some variety packs here 250 you can see they're 389 a box now so yeah, pretty pricey there. $6.59 for the 18 uh, value pack, which is a little bit of a better deal, but when you get them two for five, you can get two of these, right? And let's see, that's uh, 12 packs. So you get 24 packs for $5. So much better deal than that. I got to say, Myers does a pretty good job of fixing up prices here. At least putting the right stickers on here. We saw that the original SpaghettiOs were a dollar here, where they were actually a dollar. I checked. Dollar uh, nineteen now, though. We had a feeling that was going to be going up because these have gone up, but they kept it in the scanner for a dollar. We didn't have a problem with scanning it up front. You know, a lot of people forget, not forget, or maybe they don't have enough employees. But one thing I want to point out here too: Chef Boyardee is on sale for a dollar. Some of them are not, though. We see some the, well. Okay, this is the mini raviolis for $1.29. This is something where you might want to check the scanner 
you know, or, or just, just watch to make sure that you're paying that price or take a picture of it and take it up to the register to make sure they're not overcharging you. They do have Progresso 229 a can. Um, you know, that's still, it's two, 249 a can at Kroger. So still a little cheaper. That did go up a little bit. Uh, Camels is still 209 here, making it uh, a lot cheaper than Kroger. Kroger's is 259 a can. Um, I have a feeling we're going to be seeing a sale on this here at some point, so we'll keep our eyes open for that. Um, we can see where a lot of the single cans of Campbell's have just gotten pretty ridiculous. Dollar seventy nine a can. A lot of the, a lot of the cream of mushroom and cream of chicken, different cream of soups, are on sale for a dollar a can at Kroger right now. Uh, but yeah, I do like how they throw Myers version in here. 89 cents a can for some of this stuff some of the cream of soups and tomato soup and chicken noodle soup 59 cents a piece so that's a pretty good deal never tried the tomato or the chicken noodle of Myers. if you have let me know down in the comments let me know how it is so i did notice here at this little side cap here they do have rice aroni on sale for a dollar this week uh, we've seen this as a high as high as a dollar 25 a box so it's a pretty good sale on that. Also, they have the little Cheetos. You know, we tried these. I wasn't a big fan. Um, they are on sale for a dollar, dollar forty-five regularly. That's way too expensive. So Myers is definitely a lot more loaded on flour than they were well, probably the last few weeks we were here. Dollar fifty-nine a bag for a five-pound bag, all-purpose flour, bleached, unbleached. Dollar fifty-nine a bag. They got the gold medal uh, and. They have some other options too that some people have been asking about, like the bread flour. Uh, this is only $4.09 for a five pound bag. And they got the self rising flour, $4.09 for a five pound bag. Uh, they do have some of the King Arthur flour here that we get a lot of comments on, and a lot more of the 25 pound bags of the gold medal, $15.99. So. Yeah, good to see they're getting some of this stuff in. They do have the bread flour as well. And the self-rising flour of the King Arthur. Uh, we've gotten a lot of good comments on the King Arthur flour. Seems to be what most people buy. Um, some of them are 509. Actually, they're all pretty much 509, except for the organics a little more. Um, and the unbleached bread flour is a little more. We've been seeing store brand sugar go up like crazy. I will say a 215 for a four pound bag. That's about the cheapest we've seen it for a store brand. Meyer does carry the cane sugar, uh, 229 a little more, but uh, arguably better for you for the regular cane sugar. Also, they do have the Domino sugar, which, you know, as we see in most places, it's been very low. A lot of places are hard to get. We've gotten a lot of comments that Domino is hard for a lot of stores to get in. It is 389 for a four pound bag. Um, but at least they got it in. They have some different brown sugars. Meyer brown sugar, $1.69 a bag for two pounds. Um, yeah, I mean, it looks better than it did, you know, for the last couple weeks. And they've got a lot of Splenda in that they didn't have, which we've gotten some comments on too. Uh, $8.19 for the big bag. It does look like Meyer's canned vegetables are starting to go up a little bit, but they are having a sale. Four for $3 when you buy four or more. Uh, not as good as the four for two dollars, but you know what is 79 cents a can now though uh, That's up 20 cents from what it was just a few weeks ago Four for three dollars though get the deal while you can So last week I think I pointed out the miracle whip and the Myers version for 279 it did go up on the mayo too of the uh, compared to the craft which honestly this one's really good. We've had this before. Um, $2.79 though, that is up. That's up like a dollar from just, you know, a little over a month ago, but still a dollar cheaper than it is for the craft and arguably just as good or better. Okay, so I did want to show the baby formula aisle here. Um, it looks like they got a little more in than they had the last time we were here, so that's good, but they still are very low. Um, and some of these prices, I mean, are just ridiculous, but they do have more in than they had the last time. They have condensed the aisle a little bit from down there. It's been like that for a while. They are limiting people, baby formula limit, four units per day, but that does not include WIC customers. 
who are exempt from item limits and may purchase as many items as benefits allow. Um, yeah, we don't see any of the powder formula. Uh, wait a minute. Okay, milk-based powder. Okay, so the Meyer one, the Meyer one, and that's only $17.99 for only 22 ounces, though. That's, I don't know. They need to start working this out because we've seen a lot of places that have been very low on baby formula. And again, I will always say check Walmart. Walmart, we've been to a couple different Walmarts, and it does seem like they get in the most. They get in a lot more than we've seen at any other store around here. Well, guys, that's all the time I have at Meyer today. Not as many sales as I thought there would be this week, um, at least for a lot of the stuff that we buy and that we see in the comments. So I, I tend to check those things out first, but you know, there are some decent deals. Uh, the coffee sales, the coffee sales look great. If you have a Meyer, go check out the coffee. If you need some, I would buy up a little extra because it looks like coffee prices are starting to go up again. So. Make sure you get your coffee. Guys, thank you so much for watching. With all that being said, I am out. And always remember, the adventure is out there.